in this video i'm going to show you demonstration of another spring boot project and this is bug tracking system uh, so if i talk about the tools and technology we are using a spring boot uh, as a backend technology and uh, it's using jpa Havenet, Havenet jpa and uh, the package structure you can see the configuration packages there controllers DAO, DTOs, exception pawn service and utilities for the front end purpose it's using jsp and jstl to render the data at jsp pages and it's a maven project using pom.xml and uh, uh, to store the information it's using backend database as a mysql so let me show you the database table here is a mysql data base and we have a table assigned bug project user and in this application there are different types of users like admin tester manager developers and tester uh, sorry uh, admin manager and developers and tester so while we register the, we will store the information in this database table so first thing if you want uh, the source code and the configuration or uh, you can connect us over the whatsapp and skype so our team will be help you to do to set up the project at your machine and after configuration you need to follow this demo in order to execute or run the application the very first step you have to run the eclipse the next step you have to run your mysql make sure your mysql is running in the backend and to view the data of any table just right click on the uh, on uh, on the uh, on the table let's suppose i want uh, let's suppose i want to get the data of this user table how can i get just right click on the this table select the first option you will be able to see the data so these are your credential like username and password in these columns and in order to run the application just open this first package combug uh, com dot bug tracking here you will get this file Mm, the starter file of a spring boot uh, uh, bug tracking application or java right click on this file go to run as run it as a java application if you are using sts tool over there then there will be option to run uh, a spring boot application so when you run this uh, when you go to the resources page you will find one application properties file here we have created one dummy url even url so just copy this url and open it on your browser you will see the output on the page okay so this is a simple home page uh, of the application and this is sign up page where you can sign up with the different roles and the login is there so let's say I want to register as a user, any kind of user. So let's say I'm a user as a Raj Patel. Here we have to enter a DOB so we can select the old dates from there. So let's say I want to from 2010, January 12. I select the date, select the gender, and after that I need to select the email. So let's say I select Raj at the Let's say demo at the rate 123 phone number any 10 digit valid phone number select the role so while we registering uh, we have to select the role here like i'm a tester manager or developer let's say i'm going to register as a tester click on add registration successfully the information is updated into the database but you will see while you refresh this table so you will see the new record is there as a tester now uh, while you log in into the application let's log in first and an admin then we'll log in with other user and see what other user can do over there so i just enter the username and this password i can show you the password you just 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 uh, check the database table you will be easily find so multiple sections models are there for an admin user so admin can access and perform the operation so for user like admin can also add other users and admin can check the list of the users if admin wants to edit any records admin can do let's suppose i want to edit the record of this user and i want to number change the number so let's say i edit triple seven i just updated it i go to list sorry into the list you will see the record is updated now okay also you can search any user by his first name so let's say i want to search this joel and the data is filtered when I click on the reset, it's back to this original. And let's say I want to delete this tester. So I can delete it. So the user is deleted successfully. 
now for admin or manager uh, we have an option here to add the projects okay let's say some new project is going to start in the company and let's say let's say let's say let's say xyz blog this is the project name and this is a blog website we can add the description you can click add so now this project is added and now it will display into the list right here but there there are links so when you click on this link you will see what are the related box uh, for this project but still this is a new project so there is no record so it's showing nothing over there but if you see on the other project if there is a record let me show you somewhere okay let's say this project the second project has some bugs so it will available here with a status in development and done other thing an important uh, module of the application uh, is also uh, under the product list what we can do we can edit any product uh, any project if we want or we can delete any project by clicking on this delete button okay for a add bug let's say i want to add the bug admin can also do this but other users also can do this let's say uh, first thing we have to select the project so let's say this is re recently added um, project pass so in this i'm going to add a bug for this project so let's say title is not correct title is not correct uh, description step is so i'm going to add the description like navigate to home page and observe the title and the status it's a new so we can keep it a new and this is assignee on which user developers we have to assign so we can select the let's say i'm going to uh, assign this to this person okay and now i can select an image so we have to select the screenshot of the image of the bug but uh, currently I, I i don't think so i have so i'm just adding any random image you can add the real time so record is added successfully when i go to the bug list i can see the title is not correct that is there but when i click on this uh, bug i can see the detail of the bug right like this so this is a screenshot and title is not correct the description if you add more content it will display in a proper format okay apart from that what i can do i can edit it and i can update the status like uh, in development or testing so let's say the de developer is uh, working on this ticket and they want to update their status they can do that assign a project uh, we can assign any project to any users let's say uh, this is a project that we recently added and i want to assign this project to this start so it's added successfully now if i go to the assign list i can see this project is assigned to this user so the assign module is there my profile under the my profile every user can update their profiles and the logout now let's log in as a newly added user as a tester we have added here as a raj that is gmail.com so this is my email id and after email we have a password at the end so when i log in i can see different options over here so we have a project list but this is an end user uh, so we can't allow them to add the projects or do any crude operations I did delete operations so they can just check the project list so let's say Raj is assigned to this project and they can say this is a like new ticket so they can work on this after working they can uh, update the status like re like 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 say new to reopen or under the testing I can update it and uh, I have to choose the image after uh, my work like let's say my work is done and I have had I'm, I'm going to update the image so let's say I am going to add this image I click on update and I can see the bug list the bug is updated now into the testing and again um, under the bug list here and I have also have the option to add a new bug if I found in any project so I just log out and after that if I log in as a manager here so this is a manager user so let's say what are the different access we have for the manager so manager also can add a new project manager can check the list of uh, projects so the manager can check the views bugs edit them delete them uh, they can add the uh, bugs uh, they can view the list of bug and log out 
the next uh, user we have a developer who's going to work on the application so let's say i'm going to log in with this developer user and now the developer can check the list of the project they can check the list of bug list and they can work on the bug let's say now is uh, uh, this is in development so this on this ticket let's say this uh, developer is going to work and once it's done they can move it to ready for testing and they can upload an image as a proof like the work is done and the, the, their work is done so let's say i'm adding the same image click on the update so now the bug list is updated uh, to testing now tester will update it uh, and uh, test it and update the status my profile again and the logout so these are the features and functionality for the bug tracking there are lots of modules are there it's a good application for the uh, major project or if you are looking for it interview and it's using advanced framework of java like spring boot jpa and hibernate so it will be easy to understand it's following all the st industry standards to develop the project like we are creating interface and all the details we have a controllers DAOs, gtos so if you need the source code just please connect over the whatsapp uh, or skype we will our dedicated team is there they are going to help you to uh, set up the project at your machine and even they are going to help you to explain the internal code if you want thank you